Black Soccer Team Speaks, A Teenage Love. I was in the sixth grade the first time I fell in love at the tender age of 12 years old with the prettiest star in the sky, Vanessa Hunt. She was the cutest sister in our school, and that's all it took for this brother to fall in love. The funny thing is most men we never stop prioritizing beauty as a prerequisite for falling in love. But while young and immature, that's all we use. Most will qualify my love for Vanessa as puppy love because even by my own account, it wasn't based on much. On the night I so called fell in love with her, she chose to dance with my classmate. That was right after both of us got the courage to ask her to dance at the exact same time on the last song of the night. In the long standing tradition of school dances, Back in the day, the DJ played slow music for the last song, and whoever a girl chose to slow drag with technically became her boyfriend, even if they were never an idol before they danced together. When Vanessa chose my classmate, my best friend at the time, I was left out in the cold. For the next three years of my life, despite her wading through a myriad of boyfriends, I professed, I professed my love for this girl. I became her best friend and sounding board when the other guys broke her heart. Ironically, this was happening when we both became interested in sex, and unfortunately, Vanessa gained a reputation for sleeping around with different guys. She did have several boyfriends, but Vanessa's reputation for being loose was just rumor mill stuff started by girls jealous of her beauty. As her main best friend, I knew otherwise, or so I thought. Vanessa knew I loved her, but we separated it from our friendship. Then one day, we kissed, and for me, it was like Prince sang on the door. The angel started crying up above. Finally, I thought, but I didn't know this would be my one and only kiss with Vanessa Honey as we took entirely different paths, inter paths entering that summer break. That summer, her mother shipped her off to her older brothers and I was left heartbreaking, heartbroken as the deal's first hit, two occasions became my soundtrack for the summer. When she returned, she took an interest in an older guy and I returned to my position as the lame best friend. Still heartbroken, I turned my attention to other girls, and later that summer, another young lady picked another guy over me. She said I was too nice. Out went the deal, and in came too short and easy eat to save my broken heart. So, they, so, so instead of entering a relationship with Vanessa Honey, the girl I loved, I started having sex with bitches. This was very hard to write because I've long stopped referring to women by that term, but honestly makes the point. And ironically, Vanessa Honey is the actual reason I don't direct that word towards women to this day. Although it was only two different girls, I got a reputation for sleeping around, which gave me props as a young boy. Too, too many for my age, but not necessarily pimping like too short wrapped in the songs. As for as Vanessa Honey, years later, she confessed she lost her virginity that same summer she broke my heart when her mother sent her away. Unfortunately, her unfounded reputation of giving it up caused that same older boyfriend to rape her when he found out she was just a tease. Two very different paths for two young teenagers, but ultimately what lessons could be learned here. My mother talked to, talked to me until I was blue in the face about protecting myself sexually, and thankfully I heeded her lessons. However, without discussing the emotions that come with sex and love, I entered a cycle many boys never grow up to break. A boy matures into, a, mature, a boy matures when he stops trying to have sex, with every beautiful woman he meets. As for as Vanessa Honey, she continued to date abusive men, ultimately marrying her high school sweetheart, who also abused her up until he abandoned her. On a previous run of the Mental Dialogue Talk Show, he once asked, when should we talk to our children about real sex? Let's take this a step further and teach them about the powerful emotions associated with sex too early and the lifetime of damage it can cause. Here's a toast to my first true love and any sister still dealing with equally damaged boys yet to mature into men. Vanessa Honey, fictional name, just my three cents, all I ask.